Today, we continue our look at The Art of the Force Awakens, examining initial designs for the New Republic fleet destroyed over Hosnian Prime. Now, it seems like you guys have really been enjoying this new series, and personally, I love looking behind the scenes to see how Star Wars movies are made. That being said, I think today's video will be the last to focus on concept art, but the series will return in the future. How soon? To be honest, that depends on the performance of the video and how you guys react in the comments. So today's video will be a bit shorter, and I know I did say that the last two times and failed to follow through, but I actually mean it, as unfortunately, we only have one piece of concept art to examine. So taking in this image, we see several ship types here, and let's start with the old established ships. Obviously, we have the Liberty type of the Mon Cal Cruiser, we also see basic CR-90s, and Nebulon Bs. However, we also have new, or rather semi repurpose designs. If a lot of these ships look like other Star Wars vessels, it's because they're kit bashed, which is a common practice in concept art of taking existing assets and basically putting them together in different ways. This makes something that aesthetically looks like it fits in universe without having to go out and create a brand new ship design. We see notably that the consular cruiser from the prequels is attached to the back of the head of a CR-90, which is sometimes rotated, and we see what looks like the ship just just existing in its ordinary form. We also have what looks to me like the original Ralph McQuarrie concept art of the Millennium Falcon with perhaps some sort of wing. This version of the ship here, which also has the consular engines, has some nice asymmetry to it. But again, I want to reiterate that just because these ships exist does not mean that they were meant to be ship types within the actual movie itself. And we have to ask, what does this image actually tell us? And the point isn't that the New Republic had a consular CR-90 hybrid with two different thruster orientations, or that they still used winged MC-80s, or that the fleet all looked like this, because we know specifically from later lore that the New Republic has various capital ship types. And the same is true for earlier concept art in this book, which shows first order structures or capital ships being surrounded by Imperial Star Destroyers. Rather, I think this image provides aesthetic context, what this scene would look like. Maybe even in broad strokes, what one would expect the New Republic military to be fitted with. So while we can't discern the lore around specific ship types, this image was created after full production on The Force Awakens had begun, specifically in the art book in July 2014, which was only a few months before actual filming ended. So we can get some broad strokes from what the creators were going for here. Mostly that the New Republic was not meant to be some hyper-advanced naval power. They were meant to be the good guys with a fleet that looks like the good guys. These aren't kitbash star destroyers, these are corvettes and frigates and some cruisers. And obviously this truth about the state of the universe was confirmed by both expanded universe lore and the ships we see the resistance using in episode 8, which were mostly discarded New Republic vessels. One thing I do want to note is I was looking for other concept art of the New Republic fleet, and although I didn't find much, I did find one image on Reddit. Now, I don't know the source of this, it's probably from a different art book that I don't own, or it's also possible that it's just a fan image, so I don't want to overanalyze it, but the fleet composition here is pretty similar, just with a few different ships. When looking at the actual footage from The Force Awakens, besides for the Mon Cal Cruisers and what I think is pretty clearly a Nebulon B, it's hard to pick out any real one-to-one -one connections between the ships in the movie and the ships in the concept art. We see a triangle ship, not represented in the art, and what I'll call flat ships, which could be any number of designs. My point here is the scene was not obviously copied, and there's no way to say definitively that these ships were the ones destroyed in TFA. However, it gives us a good idea of the type of fleet fielded by the New Republic. Interestingly, we have seen a CR-90 in Star Wars Resistance, so we do know that that ship is still kicking. We've also seen, in the Rise of the Resistance trailer, what looks like a pretty standard Mon Calamari cruiser, and in the art of The Last Jedi, we have a ship made for the Resistance fleet, which looks a lot like the kit-bashed ship here. But again, that's likely just due to the nature of concept art, and I think suggesting some sort of conceptual connection between perhaps the Bunker Buster and this ship, and then even further, something you see in the movie itself, is probably a bit overreaching. Still, it's a fun exercise, and I'm curious curious to hear what you think. 
Other than that, the concept does show us that the fleet was meant to be fairly large and probably arranged around the planet in small groups. Most likely, what we saw destroyed in The Force Awakens was only a small part of a much larger defense force. But again, what do you think? How large do you think the New Republic's fleet is? What kind of ships were they using? Did they have new advanced Star Destroyers? Or were they still relying mostly on Mon Calamari cruisers? My question of today is about Empire at War from No Specific Person. I've had a bunch of people ask me where my Empire at War series went. Unfortunately, I think because the mod I was using updated itself on Steam, my saves are no longer accessible. I'm not sure what I'll be doing moving forward. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Until next time, guys, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the Force be with you.